For hundreds of years, the presidents of the United States of America have struggled to protect American citizens. One of the biggest obstacles to the will of U.S. presidents is the evilest document in the world. The United States Constitution. The document, first put into use on March 4th, 1789, contains many alarming provisions that restrict the war on terror. One section, the Fourth Amendment, is the following alarming sentence. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly persons describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be searched." End quote. Not only does this sentence barely conform to the rules of the American language, it disturbingly enough requires a reason for a person's home and property to be searched. Imagine, just imagine, if the FBI and the CIA had to follow this insane lay of the law. They would not be able to search a terrorist house without getting a warrant from some crazy activist judge. For more explanation, we go to our one-time only feature, Interview with an Idiot. This evil liberal is a member of the most terrifying organization on earth, the ACLU. This radical group promotes free speech and defends the Constitution. So we're going to ask our friend here a few questions. So, shall we begin with the uh, Fourth Amendment? Ah, yes. The Fourth Amendment. That protects U.S. citizens from having their houses searched without reason. All right, interesting. Of course, um, as you do know, the government is infallible, so the only reason they would search someone's house is if they had reason to believe that the person was a terrorist. Therefore, all this amendment protects are terrorists. Okay, first of all, that's not true. Okay, uh, how about the, let's talk about the Sixth and Eighth Amendments now. They require that all prisoners should be given a public and fair trial and that no cruel and unusual punishment can be given for a crime. I have a problem with giving terrorists a fair trial. What? If they weren't terrorists, why would the government arrest them? The government isn't always right. At one point, they condoned segregation. <clears throat> and evil activist judges made them give segregation up. That's an outdated point of view. The judges are part of the government. The government only has one branch. That's the executive branch. Both of the other ones are just evil terrorist organizations trying to infiltrate this country. The other branches were laid out in the Constitution. Another terrorist document. The Constitution is the basis of our government. Oh, yeah, that's what terrorists say. So by your logic, anyone who thinks that the government is held together by the Constitution is a terrorist? Yes. So what Americans aren't terrorists? The real Americans are the people who follow our president and who believe his word is infinitely wise. But you know what? Enough about terrorists. I'm going to question you some more later. But the president sucks. You son of a... <laughs> Despite the U.S. Constitution, a piece of legislation was passed in October 2001 that reduced the power of this evil document. The legislation was titled, The United and Strengthening America by Providing Appropriate Tools Required to Intercept and Obstruct Terrorism Act of 2001, also known as the USA Patriot Act, or merely the Patriot Act. Among other things, the Patriot Act suspends the Geneva Convention's rights and allows the government to search a suspected terrorist house, records, and activities, then send them to Gitmo or to some black site without charging them of a single crime then holding them indefinitely without a single trial. In case you didn't know, a black site is a prison where terrorists are held in foreign countries without torture laws and are tortured in order to get information to protect Americans like you and me from terrorists. Let's find out what uh, some crazy terrorists think about the Patriot Act. Now, the Patriot Act 
It protects Americans from terrorists. What do you think about it? In 1774, when America was ruled by Great Britain, the British Parliament passed the Coercive Acts. These acts, among other things, allowed the government to search people's homes without reason. This was called the Intolerable Acts by the colonists. These days, the government passes similar laws, and not only are they not repealed, they're called the Patriot Act. There is a difference. Instead of being enforced by some evil government across the ocean, our brave United States government enforces them. I don't see the difference. I've had just about enough of this. Let's go to a music video supporting the Patriot Act and protesting that evil constitution. Um, uh, the song we have prepared for the music video isn't, uh, isn't, isn't ready yet. Uh, we'll attach it to the end of part five. But in next, in part three, you'll learn about the terrorist alert system.